Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get that jersey dress pattern that I used in my previous video on how to make the under 40 minute dress. It actually took me 30 minutes. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to get that into your Adobe Illustrator. Uh, the same way I did it in another tutorial I did, but this will be specific to this pattern. Um, as you can see there's links down here in the video. Um, you just click the link and it will take you to um, my Flickr where I have all these pictures ready for you to download uh, and it's available for anybody you just go down here and hit download and you want to do the original size because I think it keeps a better resolution and it's a little easier to copy I think if you do these small ones and then have to blow them up they get all pixelated and then it's hard to be more accurate so go ahead and download the original and it'll go to your download folder save it as whatever you want and then you're going to want to open your Adobe Illustrator. I actually was just doing this tutorial and it failed, so I'm starting over. Um, let's get rid of this guy. No, we're not saving. You want to go to File, New, and then name it YouTube Jersey Dress Pattern. We want to do, um, we're going to want it to be 36 inches tall and 60 inches wide to start, although we are going to end up altering that in the end. Hit OK. So here we got our nice, huge, blank piece of paper. If this were a table, then it'd be like a big tabletop, and this paper, pa paper would be just spread out all over the table. OK, so let's go to preferences. We want our guides and grid. One inch every eight hit OK and if it's not showing make sure it says show grid so these are each square inches right here so you can see it's a big piece of paper um, after you get that done we're gonna wanna place the picture that you just downloaded from my Flickr so hit place wherever you saved it go to I saved mine in pictures uh, we're going to start with a sleeve and then hit place so that is pretty freaking big. Um, double click this. We're going to name it sleeve pick so we know what to erase later. Uh, dim the images because I like them dim. It's easier to trace on. And then um, we're going to want to turn this 90 degrees. I like to do it like that. You can keep it like this. So hold shift when you see that little turny thing. Hold shift and then you can get it 90 degrees up and then hold shift again so we can scale this down and now we want to lock it and start a new layer um, before we start tracing we want to make sure our pen is black you need to double click this and pick a color or you can hit that and then hit that and then make no fill and then go back to pen hit pen or P on your board I'm gonna want it two point and then we are ready to trace this thing uh, let's start at the bottom you can hit either Z or hit this and we can zoom in um, it's a little bit uh, the paper was curling up you can see how it taped here so the edge is curled so it kind of um, skewed the pattern a little bit which is something that we can correct while we're tracing start in this corner here and then you're gonna wanna hold shift and hit over near this corner and you can see it's a little bit turned up right there but that is not gonna hurt us um, go up to the notch oops uh, we're gonna zoom in so hit Z zoom in hit P for pen and then we're gonna hit that guy again hold shift this is how we get a nice even keep holding shift why don't you do that we don't want it to turn like that and then let go of shift and that will make a perfect notch command minus we'll zoom out and then we can start doing the rest of this pattern you can see it's a little bit coming out right here I think it was uh, full coming up in the middle so it's giving the illusion like it has a, 
a little like hill right there, but it's really not there. You can either zoom in and do this um, close up, or you can just keep it zoomed out. I like to do it like this because I do this a lot and I like to save time. <laughs> when you start doing it a lot, you're just like, oh, how can I save some time? Whenever you're going to start on the next line or do curves, you always want to hit the point again and then get started or else it'll be all um, wonky looking. Okay, now we're going to hit Z. We want to zoom in for the... Ah! We want this to go up a little bit. Well, we can fix that later. Hit P again. You want to hit that so we get back into the... Back onto the line. Hold Shift. Down. Here. There. Command minus to zoom back out. And then we can get back started on our path again. You want to hit that. Command minus, so I want to zoom out more. And then we're going to want to zoom in, hit Z. We'll zoom in right here. Hit P again, probably going to want to get back in the line. Go down here, hold shift, keep holding shift, make a perfect notch, and then let go of shift. And then we want to join the pattern. There. Now command minus to zoom out again. Um, oh, shoot. We also want to copy the five inch. Um, Someone told me in a previous video, they said to make like a one square inch drawing on your pattern. And I've done that before, so there's many ways you can do it so that you can keep this pattern to scale when you blow it up. Um, I'm just going to do it like this for now because when I copied this pattern, I did this five inch. Really, I should... I mean, there's many ways that you can do it. Whatever works best for you, as long as you just scale this correctly. And I did this with a Sharpie, which was really stupid. I did it with Sharpie because I didn't think you'd be able to see it. Um, and I do see now that that would have been wrong. I should have used maybe like a thin pencil mark. But um, you're going to want to probably get right to the top of that um, Sharpie mark. And then right to the bottom right there. And then there's your 5-inch mark. So Command minus. We want to zoom out. Um, and then let's unlock the sleeve pick or let's name this the sleeve pattern and unlock this one and click it and get rid of it bye sucka now we want to group this command G and that will keep the five inch line with this, it's his, it's his buddy, because we don't want them being ungrouped and then one getting sized without the other, and then all of a sudden the measurements are going to be off. So put him over here, and we could label this right now, but let's wait till the end to label these, because if you wanted to, if you want two patterns, you could go ahead and Command C this, and then Command V it. There's other ways you can do that. Um, and then if you want to hit O, uh, enter, and flip it vertically, now that gives you pretty much, it'd be like, well, th uh, this sleeve is symmetrical, so you could pretty much use it as a left sleeve or a right sleeve. But let's say this one was specifically left, and this one was specifically right, and you wanted a pattern for each piece, which is how they do it in the industry, 
you can just copy to and mirror it and that would work perfect as well but we're gonna get rid of that guy because we're just going to use this pattern for now um, and if you want you can go ahead and move it off the board before we scale it we'll scale these in the end next lock it new pattern I mean new layer um, place let's get the friggin uh, where are you pictures let's get the back I think this is the back I should have you know what why don't you be better than me and name them what they are I just went ahead and downloaded them which is so stupid because I have a million freaking files in my computer and um, that just makes it hard to find later uh, so that's probably front or back no that's probably front let's see yes it's the front um, so now we're going to name that pattern front and we're gonna dim it and we're gonna hit OK it um, move that over we can copy it like this I think this is gonna be exactly balanced and I've did it I've done this before and it is and that was a miracle because I hate balancing it out um, so pattern front lock it new layer pen wait black we want that black pen two points and let's zoom in Z let's start let's start with the center front so this pattern is um, cut on fold later when we get more technical I'll show you how to make a seam line but now let's just start with the basics pen start here hold space space will give you Mickey Mouse hand and then hold shift let go of space hold shift and click there and you can see look at it, it's almost perfect that made me very proud because sometimes I mess up and then I get sad so we have that and then we want to shift and hit up here too but you can see that it's a little off and the reason why it's off is because I was probably at a slight angle when I was um, taking a picture of this so it kind of skewed the angle uh, even if it's a tiny bit off it'll affect you in the end so well we're just gonna balance this out we don't want to copy it the way it is because then your front dress will come down like a V which you can do if that's a design detail you want but you'd have to do it on purpose not on the basic block so commands minus and then let's start moving I'm gonna hold shift again because generally this part of the dress is pretty straight let's see where it lands Ugh, that's a little far off well I'm gonna hit command Z I'm just gonna go ahead and trace it how it is we can fix this later that's a glare from my ceiling light sorry sorry oh okay let's zoom in right here oh it's coming in a stupid angle I've done this many many times to ah command Z so remember you gotta hit that guy so you can join the the line army again hit there hold shift boop bop beep and then we're gonna keep going over here and then I'm gonna zoom out you can stay close and do it it might take you longer but I'm tired of doing this I've been doing it all day so I'm just gonna do it the lazy way probably the less accurate way too but I tested it and I printed it and it came out pretty good so sometimes laziness works out in the end but I wouldn't recommend being lazy Ugh. command Z you and whenever you do something else you always want to reconnect your line because he thinks you left for good and then he forgot all about you and you have to tell him I'm back copy that line hit it hold shift beep bop boop and then I'm gonna zoom back out Beep. okay we're almost in a home stretch
feels good when the line matches perfectly. I feel like I won. And then we're almost there and then hit the tip of that, just the tip of that. And then we're going to want to get back down here, but um, just so we can get a nice clean angle. We'll start there, hit that, and then final line. Look at that, see how perfect that fits? That felt good. And then uh, I like to hit enter. That tells it I'm really done. And then we want to do the line right here. So let's zoom in so we can get right to the edges of this thing. Um, oh, you can use that. Uh, the, You know, I know how to use words when I'm not doing a tutorial. And the minute I do a tutorial, I my vocabulary shrinks down to like 50 words. I don't know why. It's because I get scared I'm going to say the dumb word. And someone's going to be like, that word was dumb. So start, just hit it right there. And then just go to the very end. Oops. And then enter. Oh, maybe not. Now command minus. Let's zoom out. Then we want to, let's name it. Um, what was it? Pattern front. Hit OK. And then unlock the, oh, that was, we were supposed to name that pattern pick. So this is going to be a waste of time, but it's supposed to be pattern picture so that we know to erase it. Now you can see the importance of labeling things correctly. So pattern pick and say bye. Yes, you're out of here. And then now we've got our dress. We're going to group it. Command G after you select all. And then you are out of here. And we'll label that later. Um, pattern front. So we know that it's a pattern front because sometimes when you have all these patterns over here you forget what they are and you might call a front a back and a back a front and a sleeve a bottom or a top or whatever. And then lock that new layer. New and final layer. We're going to place our back piece. Now go to your picture, get your back piece. Um, we're going to call it the pattern back. Here comes Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Pattern, pattern back pick. Dim it. OK. Lock it. New layer. Black pen. Two points. Zoom in. Bubba, quit looking yourself. Sounds weird. And then uh, let's get started. So we'll hit. Well, let's make sure we're hitting it just right. It's a little blurry, so we'll just go right there. Hold space. Go all the way down here. Jesus. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, how far did I zoom in? We zoomed in really far. Usually, you know, I'm over this. Let's just zoom out. Jesus. And then hit shift. Oh, it's a little, it looks like it was pretty close, but this is probably skewed. And then um, hold shift again, and we want to go up. So it's just like our other pattern. And then we want to start copying. I want to do that one over again. And then uh, I like to zoom in for these parts right here. Remember, you have to say hey I'm back and then we hit that and then hold shift boop 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 And zoom in again. Tell it you're back. Hold shift. Du, du, du. Zoom out. Command uh, uh, minus. Yeah, that might be a straight line. You can probably just go like all the way up.
Let's see if we can get away with doing this. Ah, uh, yes, we can. And then hit that. Okay, now this is kind of weird. I think uh, this part right here was flipped up a little bit because if we were to trace this as it is, then if we like decided to make this a full pattern, open it up, it's going to have like a little point in the back. And generally you want it to be squared off with, um, oops, see when you're doing like that, you always have to make sure you go like that. You want it squared off with uh, this, look kind of at a right angle. And I mean, that's pretty close. We can get away with that for now, but generally, if I, if I was doing this for a client, I would make that super perfect. Now we can go here and use that, what, what is this called, straight edge <laughs> uh, line segment tool. So go ahead and start here, hold it, and then end here. And that's your five inch mark. And then command, minus, 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 minus. Call it um, pattern, what do we call it? Pattern back. Okay, lock that. Unlock pattern block pick, pattern back pick, and get rid of it. And then, let's unlock all these. Command G, we want to group that. And then let's start putting this together. Now I'm getting ready. This is pattern back. So let's go ahead and put. Well, no, let's not do that yet. Let me show you something. Um, <laughs> we want to blow this up. So go ahead and select it and move it up a little bit. And then we're going to put um, an actual five inch mark. Because you can see here, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. So we want this guy to be exactly five inches so sometimes you can just line it up and as you can see we line it up right there and it's about a half inch off so we were pretty good on that we want it to be smaller so hold shift hit that kinda this part is annoying and there's probably be I mean I've said this before there's a better way for this and I haven't found it yet one two so it's like a quarter inch off so hold shift Now it's like an eighth of an inch off, so hold shift, do it a little more. It's still, <laughs> it's still a little off. Like by barely anything. And now I think that's five inches. But let's get closer. Meh. Nah. It's about at 130 seconds off, and that's important. So let's zoom out, select it again, and make it just a tad. I don't know what a tad, but just a tad bit bigger. A tad. Okay, and then let's zoom in again. <laughs> okay, let's make it a tattle bit bigger. Just a tattle. And then line it up again. I'm going to call that perfect asterisk. Asterisk meaning almost. So zoom out. And that is our dress back. Now let's tell it that it's the dress back. YouTube, where are you? Oh, we got to make sure that it's. this 48 YouTube dress pattern let's call it the Jersey dress pattern I don't know how many you end up with but organization is great Jersey dress pattern what was that oh it's back back cut one on fold for now size six uh, it 
could be called a size six, but I don't know what sizes are anymore. Um, and then let's do the date. What is it? It's November 15th, 2015. I like to put dates because then it helps me remember if it was like a, a revision. Put it over here. And then let's go ahead and group that to Command G. So if you ever wanted to ungroup this dress totally, you'd have to ungroup it twice because we have it grouped twice. Now, let's take this person. It's not a person, it's a pattern. It will go on a person. And we're going to want to scale this down too. So let's see how far off we were on this. Ooh, we're about three eighths. So remember, we did it by eight subdivisions. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These represent an eighth of an inch. So you can see that we're three eighths of an inch too big. So we'll just go back over here, hold shift. Oops, that's probably way too much. Jeez, that was hardly anything. Oh, now it was too much. Oh my gosh. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, that's pretty much perfect. So we'll zoom out. We do have that sized, um, but we want to make sure that this is locked. So you can go ahead and put it down here, match those armpits. And you can see that we're a little off down here. Um, so what you can do is hit the direct selection tool, hit the white, I mean not the white, the line, and then just scooch it up with your left arrow until it's exactly on that line. This is called walking the pattern. Is it on there? Now it's the exact size, so when you sew that together, that's going to be perfect. Oops. Don't ever want to move it with that tool. You want to use the, um, the black arrow, not the white. The white is segmental. Mental. So we've got, now we can go ahead and hold Alt. Hold Alt. Oops, nope, can't do that, Control-Z. Because we grouped it, we can't hold Alt and just take this out. So we'll just make it new anyways. YouTube, I don't know why. I'm using the, um, the uh, like the tablet, pen tablet, and sometimes it makes it hard to use this thing. YouTube, jersey, dress, Pattern, front, cut one on fold, size six, oops, size six, November 15th, 2015. And then once you have it where you like it, then you're going to group that too. Command G. Now the sleeve. The sleeve is huge. Um, we're going to move the sleeve over here. And then we're going to zoom down here and make this 5 inches. So one, two, three, four, five. We still got a ways to go. It's not exactly even either. I should have made it even. A little bit more. Oh, 
that looks right on. It's a little offset. Um, and then we want to zoom out. We want to label this too. It does that every time. I don't know why it's defaulting to that. YouTube jersey dress pattern sleeve cut to self. Bubba, stop. I'll take you out in a second. Size 6, November, November, November 15th. 2015 and then put it in the center and then group that together too. Command G. Now we're going to make this paper smaller. Um, try to get these as close as possible and that will make it easier to print. Save paper. Document set up. Let's edit artboards. Let's shrink it down just to the top of that sleeve right to the edge there there and now let's zoom in on this now you have it you have your pattern now you want to save this to a PDF so it's easier to print and that it can't really be altered after that um, oh we forgot to walk the shoulders too ah look at that we do not want that we don't want that you see how that's off the edge so it's a good idea to pay attention. I've, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I've been, well, I'm always tired, but <laughs> so that's no excuse. I'm sorry. Um, we want to, quote unquote, walk the shoulder seams too. So you kind of hold them up. Let's zoom in over there. Um, match them together, and you can see that it's a little bit off but the thing is is when you're surging we're going to want to fix that so we can do that by taking the white direct select and we can move it there without altering any other part of the pattern so everything is still to scale and then maybe we want to take that and make it more you know, perfecter. <laughs> um, and then zoom out. Get your other. And then go ahead and put it back down. And then take one more look. Make sure everything's all good to go. That's still real close to the edge. I want to make it not as close. And then let's save it to PDF. File. Save as. PDF, Adobe PDF, or whatever PDF you have. Uh, YouTube jersey dress pattern, uh, we'll put tutorial. So that you know, I, we'll name it whatever the hell you want. Um, save. And then it's going to be like, are you sure? Save PDF, yes. Now, it's going to open the PDF again. In a second. Bubba. Take in a second. My dog needs to go pee pee. My computer, I got it in December of 2011, and I think it's trying to tell me it wants to get put down. So, there's the pattern. Isn't that exciting? And then you could print it out. Uh, if you want to print, just go to File, Print. Come on. Oh, for friggin' frack. Uh, you want to hit poster. Um, you want it to be 100% to scale, because if you don't, it will throw it off, and then it won't fit. Um, and see all these marks here? This is showing you how many pieces of paper it's going to print on. So the thing is, is if you take it to Kinko's, it gets printed in one piece of paper. But be careful when you're printing at Kinko's, because... I, you could waste a lot of money at Kinko's. Usually they just let me print until I get the right print for free. Well, they'll let you print, and if you miss up, mess up, they'll only charge you for the one that prints correctly. But you want to make sure that you someone helps you with those machines because they are so confusing. 
Um, and then you just go ahead and hit print. And you make sure you have a lot of paper in the printer if you're going to do it like this. But I want to cancel this because, oh no, is it going to print? It's going to print. Ah, oh, geez. All right, well, I'll let it, I'll let it do it. Uh, and then um, I'll sh I can show you how to tape these all together, but it's pretty straightforward. The printer is offline. Good. I didn't want all that to print anyways. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you just, you know, it's like a puzzle. You just match it together. But you, the thing that could be confusing is you want to make sure that it stays the right size because sometimes it doesn't have lineup marks and you have to really be, um, what do you call it? diligent, you have to be attentive, you have to really be detail-oriented when you're taping it together. So that is it. And then once you have this pattern, many of my future tutorials will all be based on this pattern. A million and one dresses can be made with this pattern. Different fabrics, different styles, you just take it make one that's a master pattern and then trace that to make I'll, I'll just I'll show you in the future and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about alright okay goodbye how do I turn this thing off